please be aware that I have never done this before. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. I am super duper excited today because we are finally doing the little giveaway that I have been teasing for the past couple of days. This isn't going to be like the big 50k giveaway or anything. That's coming, that's coming eventually, I promise. This is going to be a giveaway that is in collaboration with Ricky's New York and I am super duper excited about it. So I was reached out to you by Ricky's New York and they offered me the opportunity to go on their wonderful website and pick out like a full face of makeup to create a look with you guys and then they offered to send out that same like bundle of makeup that I picked out to one of you guys so you can recreate the look that I come up with today and probably execute it far better than I will be able to. Um, we have these today. These are kind of my arch nemesis right here, false lashes, but these seem to be very very nice one so hopefully i can actually master the false lash today but we will see but that is just one item from the rest of the little bundle here that i have picked out for you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and show you everything that i went through the site to 15 20 hours to actually pick out because i'm just an indecisive person and hopefully i'll be able to create a look with it that is somewhat decent somewhat like holiday glam is what i'm going for and i say glam like with these because you know, it's me. We'll see how it turns out. But anyway, I am just super thankful to Ricky's because you guys know I love doing giveaways for you and I could not turn down getting you guys a full face of makeup from Ricky's giveaway. Very, very excited about this. Alrighty, so the first thing before I try to put this on my face, I'm going to show you guys everything that I have selected for you. So the first thing here, we have some eyelashes and these are from Violet Voss and they are beautiful and I really, really hope I can put these on correctly uh we will see then i got some mascara here this is the volume express maybelline mega plush mascara i used to use this all the time and i loved it so i figured a nice little mascara like this would be good i really wanted to get like a full range of products and try some stuff i've never even like heard of before because ricky's has like all sorts of interesting brands so that's what i did so i picked up this palette here from chi chi this is the beauty on the go palette and this is actually very heavy i wasn't expecting that this will have all sorts of face items in it. I'll show you guys the inside a little bit later. Then I have a NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. I've never tried this liner before from NYX, so I'm super excited to try this out. And then this is something that I've been wanting to try for a little bit. This is a Morphe Liquid Lip. I've never tried a liquid lip from Morphe before, so i um, very, very interested to see what this is like. And then I picked up a little Violet Voss like loose glitter, and this is in the shade Copperella. So this little loose glitter here is kind of inspiring the look for today. I'm going for like a copper Christmas glam. <laughs> so I'm um, very excited to use this. And then finally the eye palette that I picked out. I wanted something that I haven't really seen too much of before. I wanted to try new things plus the colors in here looked beautiful. This is from Ace Beauty and this is the quintessential palette and I loved the packaging on the front. The gold and the black spoke to me. And then I thought the colors inside were just absolutely beautiful. A little bit more interesting interesting, a little bit more different than things I've seen recently. I liked the color selection, plus again the packaging is really pretty. So today I'm going to create a look using this bundle of products here, and then you guys have a chance to win the same exact bundle. So I hope you guys are really excited about this. I know I am. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and get into this look. Um, let's roll up the sleeves here. I feel like this could get messy. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with like the base of the face and that kind of stuff. I'm gonna use some supplementary products. Um, uh, in order to do that, I'm going to start with this primer here, which I've been testing out for a little while. This is the Touche Eclat Blur Primer from YSL Beauty. Alrighty, and for foundation today, I'm going to try mixing together these two uh, for multiple purposes. One, the All Nighter Foundation in the shade 01 is just a little bit light for me. I have posted another video like earlier today using this foundation for the first time and I look a little bit Caspery, so I'm going to mix it in with this double wear. And the other reason is because I'm trying my best to make my double wear go longer because I love it and it's incredibly expensive. So I'm gonna try to mix it together with some foundations and see how it works out. Sorry if that was incredibly loud. As far as the lightness goes, I would say it's still pretty darn light, but that's okay. Why do I have the theme song to Doug stuck in my head? Is that even Doug? Now I'm confused. Doug theme song. It is Doug. Alrighty, that's done. I'm going to go in with some concealer. This is from YSL Beauty. This is the All Hours Concealer. 
And the reason I didn't pick out like face stuff for you guys for the giveaway is because everyone has different skin shades and complexions and undertones and things like that. So if I picked out a foundation that didn't have your shade or something like that, I would feel bad about it. So everything I picked is hopefully pretty universal for everybody. Um, I hope anyway. The face palette might be a touch light. That's the only thing I'm kind of worried about, but everything else should work out well. Alright, now I'm going to be setting my face with the Sacha Buttercup Setting Powder. This is like the yellowy type setting powder. I've never used this type of setting powder before. It reminds me of that uh, banana powder that everyone freaked out about a little while ago because of Kim Kardashian's face. Eh, uh, just go ahead and ignore that uh, spot right there on my chin. I cannot cover it for some reason, but that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and move on. Now we're getting into the stack of Ricky's products, and I'm very excited to test out this palette. I think that the packaging is really pretty on it. I like the, what is this called? Damask packaging they picked out. And the palette itself has the same packaging. It's surprisingly heavy. Um, I've never heard of this brand before, so I didn't really know anything about them. I didn't expect it to be like this weighty feeling, which I really like being attacked. And here we have the inside of the palette. So we have all sorts of different face items over here. We have, are these, what are these? These are actually eyeshadows, but these two look like they could be used for highlights personally. Then over here we have some blushes, and then in the middle portions we have two different highlights, a corrector and then a bronzer here. Alright, so I'm going to take my standard broken brush here and go into this bronzer. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, which isn't exactly my favorite, but it's definitely not like super duper glittery or anything. Ooh, that's doing a pretty good job warming up the face. Alrighty, now that the face is warmed up, I am going to get a little bit of contour if I can find the thing I contour with. I'm going to use this disgusting uh, makeup palette here that I use for my eyebrows and sometimes contour and use this brush that we just got in BoxyCharm actually and just do a little bit of contouring. Alrighty, and now for the cheek color. <laughs> And now for blush, I'm going to be using this blush down here in the corner. This is the 7C Cheek, and I think it'll go well with the look we're trying to go for today. I'm going to use my Kat Von D Fluffy Brush 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 Brush. Fluffy Blush Brush. Alrighty, blush is complete. That went on pretty nicely, I think. Now I'm going to move into some highlight. A lot of these look a little bit deep, actually. I thought they would be a little bit lighter. Here are the two highlights, and here are the two eyeshadows. So if you do have a deeper skin tone, I think that you could pull off this, like, really golden eyeshadow very well for highlight. I personally think I'm going to go for this one here because it's giving me the most glow. So that is this highlight right here, which is 6B. Ooh, that's actually pretty. Alrighty, so there is the highlight on. I definitely think it is glowing. It is very pretty. It's very, like, goldeny, which I also think will go well with the copper eye look for today, which we're about to move into. And I'm just going to admit I'm a little bit nervous. We got loose glitter, we got eyelashes, we got a lot of stuff happening that I'm not used to using. So we'll see how this goes. Mm -hmm. And how long has that foundation been in my hair? The whole time, most likely? Probably. Alrighty, so the brows are done and now we get to move into the most exciting part, which is the eyes. It's also the most terrifying part, but this palette is super duper pretty, so I'm very excited to get to play with it. And as always and forever on this channel, I have not planned out quite what I want to do yet, so um, we're just gonna start and see what happens. Actually, I think I'm going to start with the eye base that came in this palette first because there's not a very, very light shade in this other palette. So this one I'm just going to lay down all over my lid with my finger. Alrighty, now into the crease I'm going to blend out this shade Nutmeg here, which looks like a beautiful crease color. I don't know why, but it is a thousand times harder for me to do this eye than this eye. I guess it's like just moving my hand from here to here. It makes it feel like alien territory on this side. Right now that that is blended out, I think I'm going to go into cinnamon here with a slightly more like, you know, less fluffy brush and uh, kind of deepen up the crease. Just really quickly, take a look at these metallic -y shades. These are super duper pretty and very, very pigmented. I just can't figure out which one I want to use. I think I'm going to use this Manuka shade, which is swatched right here on my hand. I think I'm going to try to put that like out here to deepen it up a little bit and then put the copper glitter like in this area of my eye. We'll see. And I'm going to start off using this with just my finger and then I'll probably blend it out with a brush. 
Alright, see? Now I'm going to move on to this eye and do the same thing, just worse. <laughs> Hey guys, so the easy part is over with and now I'm moving into scary territory. We are going to start using the copper loose glitter here and I personally have never used a loose glitter so uh, we'll see how this goes. I also didn't get a glitter adhesive um, but I do have this Medusa's makeup one and um, it's not the best glitter adhesive ever but we are definitely going to give it a try and if not I'm going to try to like MacGyver some other way to get this glitter to stick to my eyelid but we're gonna do it, I promise. Alrighty, so I'm going to apply this glitter adhesive. Oh dear. <laughs> Hopefully just to this inner portion of my eye. Please be aware that I have never done this before. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Can you guys see that shimmery glitter there? It's super duper pretty. I'm gonna take this little like flat packing brush and dip into this glitter and start, oh, that it, oh. Ooh, that is shiny. Wow, okay. Yep, there's glitter on there. I think I want to deepen this area just a little bit more, so I'm going to take like the slightest amount of black here in the corner from this palette and just ever so slightly try to deepen it without going too dark. And yeah, hooded eyes to the rescue. I already have glitter all the way up here. My field of vision is literally a disco ball. <laughs> There's so many shimmers around my eyes right now. Oh no, no. All right, now I'm going to put on some mascara and then I'm going to attempt to put on some lashes. I really like this mascara wand because look how like bendy it is. Ding. And I think it just makes your lashes look nice and fluffy, which I enjoy. All right, lash attempt number one. Oh my gosh, you guys, did I kind of do it? I think I kind of did it. Oh, I'm really excited. Okay, it might not be perfect, but that is okay. This is the best attempt at putting on lashes I've done in quite some time. So let's let's keep the ball rolling. We're gonna go for the next lash. Is that inner corner glued down? I don't know. Alrighty guys, they're actually on. Um, I can't see out of this eye anymore because there is definitely something on my contact and the inner corners might not be completely glued down, but they are on. So that is a victory. So next up, we are going to use the liner that I can't find. Next up, we're going to use this NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner to try to hide some of the glue. This is a very precise looking little brush. So hopefully I can draw on a Fairly nice line. All right, we're gonna go back to this palette. I'm gonna take cinnamon here and run it underneath the lower lash line. All right, now I'm going to take a little bit of black on this Artiste brush, the same one I did my eyebrows with actually, and just super, super tightly right on the lash line, smoke it out with a little bit of black. Now I'm going to run some more mascara along the lower lash line, and then just a little bit more into the fake lashes to blend my real lashes into them. In the final thing for the eyes, I'm gonna take a little bit of this jasmine right here, which I just stabbed my brush into, and uh, just take this right underneath the brow to highlight the brow bone, and then also a little bit in the inner corner. Alrighty guys, so the eyes are done. Let's go ahead and try on this Morphe lipstick. This is in the shade Schoolgirl, and it's supposed to be like a kind of peachy pinky nude. Ooh, that's a very interesting formula. It's like super moussey almost, very creamy. I wish I'd gone with a little bit more of a neutral nude because of the eye look, but I didn't know what eye look I was going to do when I was picking everything out. Alrighty guys, so that is it. This is my holiday copper glam look. It went slightly better than expected. I actually got the eyelashes like glued to my face. That might not be perfect, but that's okay. I do wish the lipstick was just a little shade or two different, but that is also okay. I think it turned out all right. And if you would like to be able to recreate this look with all of these products from Ricky's New York, then just leave a comment down below letting me know that you would like to be entered. And also go ahead and let me know what was your favorite product I used today. And then just make sure you are subscribed at least 18 years of age or older or have parent or guardian permission and you are entered to win. After the winner is selected, that information will be sent to Ricky's and they will be sending out all of these products to you. So I'm very, very excited about this. And I hope you guys are too. I thought this was a pretty fun giveaway and I cannot wait to see the look that the winner recreates and I am just super duper excited to see the look that the winner will recreate so 
yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. As soon as I post this video, it will be going live, and then it's only going to last for a couple of days. This will be a very, very short giveaway, and then I'll announce the winner a little later on um, in a few days. But anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and subscribe if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. Plus, we have like a myriad of giveaways going on right now. We have our monthly giveaway. We have the Morphe Me and uh, Kiss Me giveaway, and of course, the Ricky's giveaway going on right now. And other than that, I just hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!